How y'all doing? Really want hello guys so this portion of the video is sponsored by foreo sweden foreo is a swedish beauty tech brand that specializes in skincare devices that make home beauty routines simple easy and enjoyable now today we're going to be focusing on the foreo bear microcurrent device the foreo bear is said to be an fda cleared medical microcurrent device meaning it is successfully evaluated for safety and efficiency when it comes to usage now what does a microcurrent device do a microcurrent device works by delivering an electrical current to muscles and skin cells the electrical current will build up muscles in the face and lifting and also tightening the skin now before we get into the benefits of using the product let us start with the packaging as you guys can see it's packaged really really pretty and on this side we have the for your app details now for you has an app which guides you on how to use their products this app is available at play store as well as apple store and just to highlight things to be aware of before starting to use this device the device is said not to be used on children do not use if you have an implanted medical device or if you're someone with skin conditions epilepsy or hemorrhagic diseases it's also said not to be used while you are pregnant what's nice about this is that it is a handheld device meaning you can literally take it anywhere it is also a chargeable device and it does come with its own usb cable now this is a power button the power button can also be used to adjust your t-sonic pulsations to your level of liking it has up to five unique levels of strength but i've decided to put mine on level three before using the device just make sure your face is washed and cleaned and also free of oils for more effective results try pairing it up with a water-based hydrating serum i am using the foreo serum but you don't necessarily have to be using this specific serum you can use any hydrating serum of your choice and now getting into the benefits of using the foreo bay microcurrent device the device trains and tones the muscles in the face and neck and gives you an instant facelift or a more lifted face it improves your facial contour tightens the skin and also increases collagen production which will give you a more younger and fuller looking face if you are interested in purchasing the device it is available on the for your website superbalist or either the arc store i'll put all the shopping links down in my description box yeah, and a very big thank you to Foreo for putting the girl on. I literally have no idea where to begin or what to say. Um, the picture is incredible. But welcome back to my channel, guys, and to my new subscribers. Uh, thank you for joining the family. <sighs> I know, guys, like, I know, I know it has been so long since I posted anything here. And I feel like I owe it to you guys to sort of fill you in as to what has been happening with my life for the past, uh, God knows how long. I don't even want to say it. But, yeah, just fill you guys in as to what has been happening with my life, where have I been, etc, etc. And I know majority of you guys have only connected with me through the bits and pieces from the few videos that I have up on my channel because... I don't even post a lot and that needs to change so with this video i sort of want to bring you guys in you know we have a 
have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you guys um you know um sit down to chat and tell you guys about <laughs> and just tell you guys about the life here but that will probably be towards the end of this video because i have some stuff to do in between and also i didn't want to make this video mainly a sit down video but more of a vlog style type of video so we'll sit down and chat towards the end of this vlog yeah guys I am back and I've missed you guys so much and best believe but I'm done I'm done putting you guys on starvation mode <laughs> so yeah guys I just hope you will enjoy this comeback video so I will be unboxing my new kettle with you guys um tell me why ne? like I'm one of the that sells guys that will do anything to get a product out of the store like in Gamakogi they are liars <laughs> let me give you guys a background story so I'm, I went to I went to my project Elena it was on promo during the time ne? from my high man let me just go and buy myself this kettle um when i went there ne, so i'm telling this lady there's this uh you guys know the machine the espresso granitis ma machine i've been wanting that coffee machine for the past two years i think and i specifically want the white one but i'm waiting for it to be like on promo guys like when you need to leave the like i mean last year on black friday during black friday the price was still steep and i think the year before that i have experienced the same thing so now i'm at macro and i'm explaining to this uh lady oh seven's a corner but i mean um i'm here for the kettle ne? but before i take a kettle there's a machine that i've been eyeing for years ne? but i've never seen the machine like um in the color that i want i'm only familiar i'm only familiar with black right i've never seen the white so i only want to know if the white is pure white or the white is more of a creamish white color so i can determine the color of kettle that i'm going to take can you please advise because also the machine wasn't on the floor i thought i was going to see the machine like on the floor she advised me to take the kettle in a cream white color and of course I mean, I trusted because she's a saleswoman, she works there, that's her job, uh, she knows what she's doing. So now I'm in the get but when I get home, I come home and I watch my reviews of the Nespresso machine, right? I'm watching reviews, I'm like, I'm a le 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 machine, I took it off. The machine looks more for pure white color than a cream white color. But also I'm like, ah, maybe it's because um, of the lighting these people are using. On camera, you can't distinguish between a color, a white, and a, a beige or creamish white color. Everything appears white on camera every shade of white appears white on camera because there's lighting and all of that sort that's all man i stayed for a month without opening the kettle because i was skeptical i'm like i man something in me doesn't trust the uh, machine is actually cream white yeah gorgeous then i decided to go to at home i went to at home and luckily they had the machine on display they had the machine on the floor so now also at home sells these kettles right the my kettles right so now i was able to then do my practical i'm there i'm doing my practical and then i saw that actually the coffee machine is more of a white white color and i think it goes more and i think it matches more with the white color of the kettle that i want so now i stayed a month without opening the package and you know guys like i'm a you know these retail stores they have a a policy when it comes to returns mobile but i called them at first i'm like hey i have this package ne? and i know you have a 14 day policy when it comes to returns but i haven't opened the package money i think i took i'm telling this lady over the phone which i think i took the wrong color can i still return it after 30 days she's like oh you can go try and dun 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 cool i go directly to macro and so the lady who worked on retain the lady that i found there on returns was trying to give me this nasty attitude where it's been over 30 days so i'm like no i don't want the money i just want a different color and this thing is not opened you know i show her the package and all of that sort she's like it's fine you can go to the appliances aisle and talk to someone over there cool i found this guy over there and i, and I tell him but i just need a different color which i'm willing to like add on the amount that the guy literally said to me but they don't stock white in that kettle i'm like in journey because the lady who was assisting me when i was buying the kettle it made it look like i had an option between white and cream white and that white was out of stock um that day like, I was so mad. I'm like, I can put you. When's again, don't you get? Because I'm not even like it. 
are they gonna give me my refund but the guy was super nice he literally accompanied me to the other side because i told him about yo hi sana your colleague is trying to give me an attitude at that side because it's been over 30 days and all of that sort but at the end of the day it's not my fault guys the lady who i spoke to when i was initially buying this kettle made it seem like i had an option to either have this or that she didn't specify she didn't say to me but umakro literally doesn't stock um a smeg kettle in white especially this remember there i think there are three designs when it comes to these kettles there's that mini one and then there's this one that i bought and then there's another one that's bigger so in this one that i bought macro never stocks um the white color so yeah the guy literally spoke to the other lady on the return side and they gave me my money can you see guys i'm under sales guys and they would do anything to push a product out of the store which is so unfair and customer needs should come first between us okay so it's time for the unboxing i finally um so i finally found my kettle at, at home okay is it okay let's take it out of the plastic So guys, I also started TikTok and I think I'm going to post this on TikTok as well. Oh, look at the ring light. Um, doing the not so nice things over there. Um, okay, cool. So yes, I finally got my kettle. I'm super, super excited and I got it in white. Um, the color that I wanted. So guys, I recently started a TikTok. I hated TikTok. I just felt like TikTok was for... Um, I just feel like TikTok, it's too much noise and I just feel like it was developed for Abandwana, like the Gen Z, I'm a 2000, so, but anywho, but I'm guessing if I want to monetize my brand, then I definitely have to be active in all social media platforms, so yeah, do follow me on TikTok, babes. <sighs> hey, I'm super, super excited. Get into it. How cute is this? Just put this over here. Flipping cute, guys. This color as well. I'm choking my Like, oh, guys, this is so pretty. Look at my ring light reflecting over there. Um, so basically, I was using this kettle, and I do not think I will put the smack here. I would rather put it here. And I had a vase. There was this really nice. Um, a white vase that I had and I recently broke it so I don't know what I'm gonna pay it up with uh, but this is where the kettle is gonna sit I think I think this side makes more sense yeah I'll give this kettle to my brother he is starting varsity next year yeah I'll just keep it for him and I think I'll do the same with my fridge because I wanted to sell my fridge but I was like it's not gonna make sense especially when we have someone um, beginning his independence uh, so I'd rather wait for him him to go back to school and then i'll purchase a new fridge but guys what that is so cute so also guys i didn't want to and also guys i don't think there's a necessity for me to buy the toaster because i don't think i'm a toast person like i don't wake up and think to myself yo I am craving toasted bread today i don't so it means that if i were to buy it it would literally be just for vibes and i don't have that kind of money to buy something to just be in no use i just chill and in my house so it's just a kettle and my dream nespresso machine oh the day i get that coffee machine i'm gonna cry 40 days and 40 nights nice because it has been so long um yeah what else do i buy so I also bought this. I also have this um, small package. So these are just uh, these are just diffusers. Let me show it to you guys. It's what it's it's spiced something. Okay, so this thing is super. I got two, ne? 
is because this thing is super um, strong it's very perfumed um, I don't even put it in my bedroom because if I put it there I won't be able to sleep that's how much um, uh, fragranced it is so I usually use let me show you so I usually put let's just open it okay so this is how it looks just a normal just a normal diffuser thingy okay guys so i've just opened one this is where i usually put it so this this the smell like the smell will cover the whole like kitchen and also the living area that's how scented this thing is and then i have something else to show you guys i was a pet home i'm getting my um, tissue oils and i've seen this how cute is it i thought that was so cute um and then i bought um and i had also picked up these very cheap uh, because the dishcloth that i have because the one that i'm using pure embarrassment <laughs> i feel like as we grow older guys we become our parents like we become our grandmothers and mothers it's because the things that my grandmother used to do and i didn't like when i was home i am actually doing them right now i want to show you all something when i say my dishcloth is pure embarrassment Tell me why did I keep this dishcloth until it was in this condition? guys. The fact that it's still in the sink and it's soaked means that I have no intention of throwing it away. <laughs> and that's exactly what I meant when I say that we become our parents because that's exactly what my grandmother used to do and I didn't like it back then. My grandmother used to keep a dishcloth until it was in that condition, guys. And she would hang the cloth line on the front line, like on a laundry line where everyone can see. When I get back from school, I will literally be so embarrassed and quit taking when in she like throw it in the trash myself because why is you doing that? And now it's me who's doing it. <laughs> But honestly guys, this is a I'm not Have you ever washed your dishes in your life? I'm not a dog. I'm not No lies. But anywho. Uh, yeah, I think this can just sit here. Nah, I think that is perfect there. Yeah. And then that one. Should I put it here or just put it like this? Maybe I should put it like in that corner what do you guys think maybe i should put it in this corner instead of putting it like close close to the i have no idea guys but anywho and then um i feel like this one i feel like this one is going to be too lonely um here it's going to be too lonely i must definitely get something that's going to sit with this kettle so you guys remember i said i had stuff to do in between so i'm off to do my hair uh, i had bought hair from this hair company i think it was last month um and i have been postponing my appointment and i have been postponing my appointment since then i think for a month and a week now because guys yo i work hey okay? but anywho um yeah so i've been postponing the appointment for the past uh, month or so and i've actually seen bad reviews when it comes to this hair company that i'm going to that i bought hair from people are saying that they only do proper installs um on influences and also they're not sending their customers good hair um yes there are good reviews but majority of the reviews that i've seen online are mostly bad reviews and actually tiktok is really helpful because i've been seeing these reviews from there um as well as twitter but ish, i decided to take a leap of faith guys and also that's the main reason why i didn't option out uh for them to deliver the hair to me i'd rather pick up the hair myself directly i want them to install their own hair on me you see i just felt like if i'm there there's no way they're gonna scam me there's no way i'm gonna obviously i'm gonna see the hair before they even attempt to install the hair so if i don't like the hair i can easily say but uh -uh, guys this is not what i've ordered this is not what i've seen online this is not what i've seen you guys advertising online so can i please have my money back you know this felt like there's no way i'm going to be scammed if i go directly or um if we are like on a face-to-face -face basis did i even tell you which hair company that i'm talking about <laughs> i didn't even say which hair company i'm talking about okay, so guys i bought the hair at dolce looks i'm sure you guys are familiar with it um they do work with a lot of familiar faces um and i'm 
not sure i'm not sure how many branches they have but the branch that i'm going to is in Sentin. i just feel like i talked a lot in this video <laughs> i don't know i feel like i spoke a lot in this video um but yeah guys let me eat and then i'll prep up leave my house and we'll go to dolce looks together and i'm so nervous but hopes for the best as long as you got your eyes got your trippy on them private dress taking trips come back at six wake me and your child and then won't lay today make me wonder who you might have been playing with makes me wonder who you think playing with i'm just a myself to keep playing this make her back over and over again sweat change but i know this the end I want you Okay guys, so before saying anything, um, I just want to share this. Yazi, I had made a New Year's resolution um, in 2023. In 2023, I'm actually going to find my voice. I'm going to speak up for myself. Uh, I'm going to speak up for myself to male technicians, to um, hairstylists in the beauty community in general when I am unsatisfied with something. But guess what guys? Yo! Oh. <laughs> I am still a chicken. I would literally sit in that chair with absolute silence during the whole process, even though I see Ubana. I do not like this. It's the craziest thing ever. Okay, so now getting into my experience. Um, I think I got there 15 minutes prior to my appointment. Firstly, the staff was super welcoming. They were very accommodating. Um, they did offer me something to drink. While I was waiting for them to finish prepping up the hair. Um, another thing that I really liked is that they did everything timelessly. My appointment, I think the, the duration of my appointment was an hour and 30 minutes. And they did that um, and they were on time. Right, and then getting into the hair. Okay, let me just adjust. Okay, is it fine like this? Or should I adjust the light? Um, and then getting into the hair. Okay, let me adjust the light. Uh, here I? Um, and then getting into the hair. Um, me, I really, really like the hair texture. I like the softness. Um, and I hope it doesn't shade over time. I also like the curl. Um, I also like the curl of the hair. Um, and then when it comes to the install part, I am... <laughs> you know but i don't think she did a bad job but is this not supposed to be like melted and stuff and i also think she didn't align the middle part um and i also think she didn't align the middle part um straight i'm not sure if you guys can tell but yeah this thing is not straight guys um what else and also she did a bit of baby hairs i do like the fact that they're not touching my eyebrows but also on the other hand i have enough room for all the baby hairs in the world because um i have a big forehead guys my forehead is super huge also i don't think i'm a middle part girl i wanted a side part but i might have forgotten which type of hair um i might have forgotten the type of hair that i bought so i guess i will be limited when it comes to can you see i guess i will be limited when it comes to like styling the hair and all of that sort so yeah guys i think this was my overall experience with uh dolce looks now i'm not sure about the reviews that i've been seeing online because also when i got dini because also when i got dini there was another lady that they were busy with right and the hair and the hair the installation was super exceptional guys like to the point where i also want that hair um yeah guys i think that's it overall like i think i'm happy 
yeah but let me know what you guys think i think i think that's it i'm super dilambile um i guess i will speak to you guys again tomorrow yeah sana i've been struggling to put on these eyelashes for the past i don't know how long but hi vlog and i'm still not satisfied about how um gender is feeling i hope you guys are good it's another day <laughs> it's another day and me and my friend are doing brunch today uh, we've been contemplating whether we're going or not uh and we finally decided we finally concluded well let's just go because yeah she's not going to be available for the next um two weeks so today makes sense for the both of us um yeah sana how bizarre are these lashes this this one is giving me a problem one thing about strip eyelashes ne? they'll make your eyes look unproportioned like my eyes are looking oddly shaped and i don't like that it's like one eye is doing this this one is this is perfect because it's open but this one Guys, I'm not sure what's happening with this. I feel like I'm not wearing makeup. I should actually watch. Um, um, I should actually watch tutorials um, and learn new techniques on how to actually beat up your face. Because, honey, honey, this ain't it. I saw you, Lim. These lashes were the only pair that was left um, in my lash box and my friend was also asking me to bring her eyelashes in Um, Yeah, so I'm gonna quickly show you all my outfit guys This dress that I'm wearing Scrumptious and I'm saying at I think so an island man. I like I'm strictly from an island. I'm an island girl. Skin is giving, body is giving, like everything is just giving. It's like I'm like I'm just so an island. I tell you, like yo, oh, let's rest, guys. Yan pambanisa. This is my I come back dress. It's like you know I've been gone for so long, but I'm back and it's game time. You know, it's that type of dress. Let me quickly show you what I'm wearing, guys. You see, my babies are sitting not so nice. Eh, I think Zogwenza. Eh, I think Zogwenza. He belly dancing. Dagabao. I think I'm one of those uh, girls from uh, Bollywood movies. <laughs> okay, so this is a dress from Fashion Nova, y'all. I got it somewhere last year, but I haven't had a chance to wear it anyway. And I'm tired of like keeping my clothes. Uh, and I'm tired of like not wearing my clothes, guys. Yo, I and it away. So I decided to pull it out. It's a really, really nice dress. It's very uh <laughs> it's very summery. It's very it's very vacation, but so tinige is So yeah, I'm also wearing it with these flat shoes because I just feel like if I wear heels, it's just gonna be a lot going on. Um and then yeah and then I'm carrying and then I will be carrying um this bag with um yeah I think it's a proper outfit looks really really nice especially uh to the place that we're going to so yeah let's go and then this is the perfume that I'm gonna be wearing the DNG light blue it's such a nice nice summer um fragrance so so my uber is here in the morning i'm gonna pay and i actually wanted to share something before leaving with you guys uh but we'll do it when i come back i wanted to tell you guys actually i wanted to actually tell you guys how i shop at fashion over without having to pay customs or having to pay for duties um uh, guys i will see you when we get to where we're going Ciao. Yeah, I do my own makeup. Only do it on me. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not joking. I'm not just them, them know me. Since 06, I've been writing the story. I know the OG, but if you ask them, them know me. I know they blow trees, only know me. Just no 
Sorry, I'm waiting here. I'm going to go upstairs. Hi, son. When it was a boy, I'm going to share the one up since since the figure. The figure was on the other side of the house. And what is this for? You scan the menu. How is the menu? You want to take pictures now? drinking water out of a wine glass just so I can feel like I'm drinking wine <laughs> don't judge <laughs> let me get comfortable in this machine okay guys so yeah and then when's our color happy but where have I left off I think that's where I should begin but to be honest with you guys this was an unintentional break it was nothing planned or anything of that sort I remember after my last post I had broken my camera which costed me an arm and a leg to fix um, it felt like it literally felt like I was buying a whole new camera which still hurts me till this day you know some people will ask about why didn't you use your phone I do not like using my phone to film since because it heats up when there's too much footage my phone gets to a point where it starts feeling like it's gonna explode I'm not in the space of getting a new phone or upgrading anytime soon so I do not want to risk not having a phone and you guys know once you start to take your phone for repair once it will come back have another issue you have to take it back again and then it becomes back and forth to the point where you have to buy a new phone so I don't want to experience any of that and now came 2023 well Things started going down, Sana Ndi Gowile. I haven't been feeling like myself. I haven't been in a good space. You know that feeling of sadness or just being disconnected or feeling like there's a dark cloud over you? No matter how much you try to be positive, wake up with excitement or do things, it just felt impossible or too far-fetched. That has been my life. I've just been in that constant state of burnout. It's like all of a sudden I feel really, really tired. Um, yeah, guys, life has been nothing but stress, and I just don't have excitement to do things that I enjoy anymore. And it's like every day, man, I'm exhausted. I feel really exhausted. Even when I try to pick up a camera and film, it doesn't feel right. If I can count the number of times I tried to film this particular part of the vlog, it's always an epic fail. I always end up being emotional. I do not know what it is. So yeah, I've been guys, and go really. I guess we can say I've been depressed, suffering from anxiety. And I'm pretty sure when I have four to five mental breakdowns in the space of a day in gym. And there was actually a time where I even took a break from work um when i returned or when i went back still sana is that what i do that was well i sort of know why i feel like this or what is causing this but i can't speak too deeply on it now um, so now i'm just in that space of trying to integrate healing lessons you know continue to speak to god growing my faith rebuilding my self-confidence just doing things that will make me feel good about myself whether it's investing in my style or just being more active picking up a sport or just being consistent at the gym um making new friends um, and i'm also planning on getting myself a puppy you guys know that pets are usually known to reduce stress levels especially for people that live alone and for me majority of the time i'm always alone and as much as i love my space i like doing things alone i feel like somehow there's negative aspects to that because you become too much into your head and yeah i just feel like i need something that's going to keep me company and what i like about pets pets are very independent you can literally leave your dog in the house for hours 
hours when you come back and when you get to a point where um, you don't want that commitment anymore or you don't want that responsibility you can always give it up for adoption so yeah, yeah but overall I miss YouTube and YouTube is such a positive space money because there's always someone you relate to and that sometimes helps into seeing things differently or just realizing Obana you know what I'm not alone and the crazy thing is when I disappeared or when my camera broke during the time I was getting a lot of brand collaboration requests I had quite a number of brands that approached me including for real as you guys saw in the first part of this video and, and I think only two of those were paid sponsorships which was super super cool and it was international brands as know how nice the conversion is from dollars to rents your sana so i think i will take it from there just try to incorporate all those collabs in every vlog that i will be posting after this one and your sana somehow i also got hacked <laughs> i was so lucky because ufaith i think she's a subscriber to the channel has reached out to me on instagram to say sipo did you see ubana your youtube account is under someone else's name i forgot their name yo and i think ufaith notified me immediately when this thing happened and i acted really fast the first thing i did was to change my passwords i changed my passwords to everything literally everything that is connected to my gmail account i think it's because somehow i knew how it happened because the hackers or these people they approached me as a brand collab or sponsor and they sent me a link right which i was so stupid and dumb and clicked on it i think when i clicked on that link that's how they gained access to my things but the youtube team was really helpful they are the ones that i assisted in retrieving my account i contacted them on twitter and it took them less than five minutes to give me a reply um they gave me a reply in less than five minutes they sent me a dm which had uh, which was a link that had instructions on how to retrieve your account i did exactly exactly that and then that's how i managed to um get my account back let me give you guys a tip if you have a youtube channel um do not you see that email address that you use to create your channel do not use that email address do not associate that email address with anything else but your youtube channel so don't use it as your personal email address do not use it for your brand collaborations or anything of that sort rather create a different account or a different email address for all of those things because i saw with me the hackers even gained access to my instagram account and they started posting crazy stories over there and i remembered um yeah it's because i had the same email address for everything so yeah guys never use the same email address that you use on your social media for your personal things please don't don't do it so yeah guys i need to wrap things up if you have watched this video until you have gotten to this point thank you so so much and may god bless you i will see you guys on my next video bye